Right. Hey, this is Lati. I'm here with Mr. Alberto Rondina. We are here at Prokite Albi Rondina early morning. What are we doing today, Albi? Yeah, so guys, we're gonna show you 11 easy and steezy tricks that you can do right after your water start. So you mean, even I can do it? You can kind of maybe do it, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go through them. So riding toe side, what is this about? Yeah, you basically move your weight from the heel to the toes, yeah? So here I see that you're popping. What would you say it's easier, to slide there or pop? I think the pop is the second step. You know, first you want to slide in, and then once you have that on, you can do a little pop. I would suggest not to use massive fins, because the big fins, you know, kind of lock you in. But if you have some small fins, you can definitely uh, slide to the toe side better. Okay, nice. So the second we have a downwind turn, which I think personally is the best way how to get out of toe side, right? It is the coolest for sure. And now the question is like, should I carve hard to get a spray or is it not necessary? No, no, the spray is absolutely mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> and you can spray even more, I think, if you do a down loop, because you just get so much speed, yeah. Down loop. I think many people are scared of the loops. Yeah, I think there's definitely some kind of lock at the beginning where you're kind of scared about spinning the bar or, or you know, like what's going to happen after, you know, the kite loops. But, you know, just keep the bar in your hands and everything will be just the same after the loop. So what would be the one tip for the down loop? You know, definitely going downwind is the kind of thing you have to do in any kind of loop. Because if you go behind the kite, it's not going to yank back roll. It's kind of the first rotation you want to do. I think 90% of the people, it's what they find the easiest to do as the first rotation. Because you don't really have to do so much apart from when you take off, look with your head over your back shoulder, and that's pretty much it. You know, you, you definitely don't have to hang too much on the back end. And actually, you know, halfway the jump going down, you have to pull the front end back down. Front roll, is it the same as a back roll? I think, I don't know, personally it was a little bit more difficult, you know. So how to do it? Yeah, you know, like pr pretty much as soon as you pop, uh, so you know, you're pushing with your back foot, uh, instead of keeping rotating that way, you have to actually bend the front leg and spin your head over your back shoulder. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like these two movements, I would say. There's the pop kind of way, and then the front roll is the other way. Transition jump is like, we assume that you know how to turn, but like you don't really want to do that, right? Next you, to your girlfriend. You don't want to put you don't want to put your butt in the water. No, no, no. Not like, good. Yeah, I think it's very important with all these tricks that after landing it has to look like ta you're taking a breakfast, like nothing. Yeah, yeah, and that's why here the the kind of kite movement is very important, you know, to send the kite up and then at the last second kind of send it down on the other side of the window. I think that's a trick because I see many people doing like transition and they send the kite straight to the other side right. and then they just land and they don't really have a speed. And I mean, next step is definitely, you know, since we got the back roll unlocked, it's back roll transition, which of course looks super cool. You can add so many things on this back roll. Yeah, look at that. Oof, one ended. One ended, yeah, so I think the next step would be like add a grab there because like, why not? Yeah, yeah, once you have that unlocked for sure, it's easy to add a grab. Talking about grabs, pop with a grab. This is kind of my thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, I always like melon, somehow it's always been kind of my grab. You're trying to go far away from the kite, keeping the kite in the same place. And that's what, you know, yeah. send you up. And then just add the grab and ride it off like a bounce. Absolutely. Okay, the high jump with the grab. So what's the difference between high jump and the pop? Yeah, you know, the, the main difference is the kite movement, you know. In the pop, you don't really use the kite, you kind of leave it there. In the high jump, you're of course sending it to the other side or sending it, you know, 12 o'clock. So you're going much higher thanks to the kite. So why tail grab? At the beginning, to grab with the backhand, it's kind of the key or just, you know, an easy way to do it because you want to have the front end on the bar to call the kite back down. Seriously, like so many people are like thinking about trying to do unhook tricks and never going to it because they think it's something super extreme. What do you think? I think, you know, especially with the kites of today, you know, I think like back in the day it was way harder, but now the kites, you know, they're just so easy and so stable and, you know, they ride unhooked the same as when they ride hook, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you have a little bit of power in your arms, you can do that, no problem. Yeah. Okay, the last steezy and easy trick is the butter. What can you tell us about that? Butter slide. Yeah, it just, just wanna, feels good. Just I just want to enjoy the ride. Yeah, it feels good. Like you really feel the texture of the water when you do that. And yeah. you know, you see this big spray, you're like, Cla Claim oh, the spot. Yeah. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed these, uh, uh, these 11 tricks that you can go for after your water start. Uh, of course, it helps uh, to have some good condition, you know, like uh, flat water, uh, you know, shallow water, just like here in Stagnone. So you guys are always welcome to come down here. Uh, Procada Birandina. Ciao. Ciao.